Hello and welcome to another video. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing the Your Answer Can't Be Books tag. I was tagged by Nerdy Nat Reads, so thank you for the tag. And I will have her video as well as the original video linked below in the description. So let's get into the questions. So question number one is, what is something you have way too many of other than books? For sure, coffee mugs. <laughs> I have so, so many coffee mugs. I have like just a wide collection. I have fan mugs, I have tons of Christmas mugs, mugs I got from Target while they were on sale, numerous travel mugs, a mug I got from work, and I actually went to a new dentist and they gave me a mug for being a new client there, which I thought was awesome. I have a couple mugs that I stole from school and I actually painted on them with some paint pens and like put them in the oven so that they have like my own designs on them. They're actually chipping, so I don't recommend doing that, but like it was really fun to do. And then I have like four different sets of mugs. <laughs> like, you know, the kinds that you get like four in a pack, I have probably probably like four of those. <laughs> then of course there's like the two or three that are my fiancés. <laughs> Question number two is what is something you do for fun that's not reading a book? I feel like my answer changes on this depending on whatever my ADHD's obsession is for that moment. Recently though I've been playing My Time at Portia. I don't know all the consoles that it's on but I've been playing it on the PS4. It's so much fun and it's so cute. You like go into this little town and you have this like really run down house and you like build stuff for the town and you do like little missions and you try to like build up your house and like your little like workstations and everything. It's like, it's just, a, it's a fun time. I really love it. I would recommend it. I also really love watching movies. I feel like if I wasn't an audiobook proofreader for my nine to five, I would have been some kind of like movie critic or like movie reviewer or something. Like I love watching movies and I love kind of picking them apart and seeing what the movies are actually about and any kind of like hidden meanings they have. Like I, I don't know. And I also rewatch my favorites over and over and over again. Currently the top three are Stick It, Pitch Perfect, and Rock of Ages. So question number three is, what is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book? So my nightstand is kind of a catch-all for all of the clutter in my life. <laughs> but I always try to make sure that there's space for my glasses, my phone, and some water. But I feel like these are just like very typical things, like not like a deep look into my soul with these. <laughs> I don't know, my nightstand is pretty boring. I mean, I got some ibuprofen on there. I have a stack of books and I, I'm pretty sure I have annotation supplies on there but like those are book related, so can't be my answer. <laughs> I don't know, there's like a dusty oil diffuser that's been there for months and then I keep planning on using it and then I keep not using it. Like I only ever use it when I watch scary movies and I'm scared to go to bed at night because it's also a nightlight. <laughs> so I guess that. <laughs> Question number four is, what's something you buy at a bookstore other than books? I didn't really know there were things at the bookstore other than books, <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest. Probably like nine out of 10 times I go to Barnes and Nobles, I get Starbucks. I don't know if that counts. I mean, recently I went to a used bookstore and I bought a candle. Question number five is, what is a fun gift you received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? Actually, I just got this hoodie from my fiance's sister. She's a Marines in Okinawa right now. And she went to the Universal Studios in Japan and she sent me this Harry Potter hoodie. And I'm like, I love it. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> also a couple years ago for Christmas, my fiance got me this, um, popcorn maker you could like you put popcorn in here and you put like oil or butter or something on top and put it in a microwave and it makes popcorn i love this thing i love popcorn so it's it's great so question number six is what's a youtube channel that you watch that's not related to books so i actually am subscribed to a lot of different youtube channels and they're kind of like in different genres. Obviously I'm subscribed to a bunch of booktubers. <laughs> I'm subscribed to a couple different Bujo channels. Not too many though, probably like two or three. I'm subscribed to a couple different true crime videos too. I really, really like Eleanor Neal. I like binge her videos. <laughs> I used to watch Kendall Ray a lot too, but I don't know, I'm having some kind of problems with her vibes recently. It's like nothing that she's doing. I used to absolutely love her channel, but it's like, I'm not feeling the vibes anymore. And I follow like five or six different teen mom YouTubers. <laughs> I feel like that's one of my red flags, but like, I love the drama, I'm here for it. <laughs> so question number seven is to tag other booktubers that you wanna learn more about. I'm actually procrastinating really hard with this. <laughs> um, this video is actually pretty last minute because I was planning on doing a different video for today, but I didn't have enough time to finish reading the book. So I'm incredibly thankful that I was tagged for this video because now I have something to post. <laughs> But because of that, I didn't put too much thought into who I was gonna be tagging. So if you're watching this video and you enjoy the tag and you wanna do it, then I tag you. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.